What's up guys, right it's Pan95 here, and today we're back with a brand new player review on the channel. I have just packed uh, Future Stars centre back Ruben Diaz, um, and yeah, he's very expensive. It's like 400k, which is why I wasn't going to do a review on him, but I packed him, so might as well do a review now. Um, he looks incredible, to be fair. 88 rated centre back, he's 6 foot 2, high, uh, medium high work rates, 2 scores, skill moves, 4 star weak foot. His first look at stats is 76 pace, which is fantastic, 90 defending, 89 physical, and 73 dribbling, which is really good for centre-back. Um, so yeah, this is one of the cards which I really wanted to get, but I wanted to pay the price for him. Uh, so we've got 74 acceleration, 78 sprint speed, uh, shooting 88 shot power, which is great, but his actual finishing is 34, so could be a bit iffy. Really good short passing and long passing. Um, and his dribbling, he's got 73 balance, 84 reactions, 75 ball control, 86 composure. Now to his main stats, 89 interceptions, 89 heading accuracy, 90 defensive awareness, 91 standing tackle, 88 sliding tackle. With 83 jumping, 91 stamina, 85 strength and 97 aggression. And finally, he's a solid player, leadership and a power header which obviously means from corners, he's going to be lethal. Team I mean, he's in, he's in my Prem team with obviously Mbappe and Owen up front. So I'm looking forward to using this card. I think he could be one of the uh, best centre-backs in the game. So we'll try him out and we'll see how he does. Future Stars Ruben Diaz is one of those centre-backs that is, is as good as he looks. You get a lot of cards on FIFA that look incredible but play like dog. Whereas this one plays as good as it looks. His tackling... He wins almost every tackle. He uh, reads the play really well, defensive positioning, he's always in the right position. Um, he's one of those centre-backs that you expect them to win the ball and they do, which is important for centre-back. His heading, he wins um, a lot of, when, the, when their goalkeeper long kicks, he wins their headers, or from corners he wins the headers, from defending and attacking corners. And then his dribbling. This is one thing that I was shocked about. He is so attacking, like dribbling wise, he can dribble past, dribble past anyone. Uh, there's a number of highlights in this thing where he plays a cheeky one two pass, goes on a run, scores a goal from dribbling. And yeah, he dribbles like a, a midfielder, which is strange, but good. Uh, his pace, he feels very fast, um, catches up with more defenders, he outpaces midfielders. And then finally, his passing. His long passing and short passing is incredible. The way he just one twos or his long uh, over the top through ball, uh, ground through balls, any passing is just fantastic. And finally, his strength, the outstrength of Arma Traore, as we all know, is uh, a little bit hench. So, yeah, overall, this card's phenomenal. Cons, I, honestly, I didn't really have one. I know it's mad of a player should have a con, but I honestly couldn't find one. Maybe the con is he's 345k on PlayStation, but he is worth it. I will definitely uh, do this card if I had the money. Obviously, people don't have the money. There are alternatives, i.e. there was that SBC Moments John Stones, the second in form Kimpembe, and Icon Rio Ferdinand all have similar stats and play similar. I, in fact, have Moments John Stones, and I can tell you right now, them two as a partnership are phenomenal. So yeah, overall, definitely do this card. Um, and yeah, please leave a like, subscribe, and there'll be some new Team of the Week reviews on the way shortly.